What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got some pure E Hero action for you guys to check out. This is a 100% throwback to the GX era. None of that new Link spam garbage with Gumblar Dragon or anything like that. You guys might see I sold use a couple of times in these duels, but believe me, there will be no Link spamming in these duels at all. This is straight up old school, and it's all thanks to this new card, Elemental Hero Grand Man. I didn't talk about this card, but it is going to be a new Elemental Hero Fusion Monster coming out. Some of you guys like like, damn cap we just got nebula neos and we're getting a bunch of stuff and savage strike mega tens how much support is Jaden gonna get well he is a protagonist for a major Yu-Gi-Oh series so you know they gave him another fusion monster it's interesting because you summon this guy using e hero normal monsters which you know pretty much screams use um the elemental hero neos that's probably the most famous normal e hero monster but it actually gains the attack and defense equivalent to the materials that you use their levels times 300 now the interesting thing is when this guy runs over an opponent's monster by battle you can tribute this card and then you basically tag it out into any e-hero fusion monster in your extra deck and no matter what the summoning conditions you ignore them and you can summon anything so all of those like really really difficult ones to summon you can get all of them on the field and that's actually kind of cool it's the entire reason really to run the card so first duels against speedroids and he has a hero lives, does not use it, by the way. He says, you know what, Cap? I think in 2018, I felt pretty comfortable with Stratos Pass, and <laughs> shockingly enough, he's not going to get OTK'd, which I kind of expected. I'm like, oh, wait, you're just going to do Stratos Pass in 2018, and you expect that to work? He's like, yep, I got the heart of the cards, baby. So his opponent is, uh, he's going to summon a Speedway Link monster. He is locked into Synchro Summoning at this point, so that's why you don't see any Boros War Dragons or anything like that. <clears throat> Boros War Dragon could have completely played around Stratos gaining that attack. Not sure why he attacked, and it was a mistake, and he's going to pay for that mistake. He is going to poly into Grand Man. He's going to run over Terra Top, and now he's able to go into Nebula Neos, and that's pretty cool because not only is he able to draw, he's able to get rid of basically his opponent's entire board. Now, he does have to banish everything face down, so his opponent has the Soul Charge, but look at them life points, though. I mean, anytime I'm under 4,000, I'm a little hesitant to use Soul Charge because you know you're going to be putting your off in the danger zone he is going to go for the speed roy link once again Teratops going to get shut down with that uh, that effect failure. He goes for Summon Sorceress. I thought maybe there was a pop-off here, but I'm just not sure that there actually is. I think that he's only going to, like, maybe if he got Quasar on the field or something like that, because now he is locking himself into Synchro Summoning once again, so you know that the Summon Sorceress can't be changed into anything more useful. He goes for Fast Dragon, and I'm not going to lie, all right, that, that's not bad. Fast Dragon negates the effects of uh, a monster that's special summoned from the extra deck. If I'm not mistaken, I think it cuts the attack down to zero. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I know that Fast Dragon negates the effects of Monsters Summoned from the extra deck. So he is going to go for Iso now, but, you know, predictably he's going to go ahead and say Iso, you're not going to resolve. So it does cut it down to zero, but he is able to go for Grand Man again, and he attacks. And then check this out, baby. I'm talking Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 2 summons the Elemental Hero Shining Flame Wingman like he's freaking Aster Phoenix or something like that. He's able to just completely crush this thing. I want to say... I always do this off the top of my head. I'm going to say Enemy of Justice. I know for a fact that this card was the cover card of a booster set. I want to say that it's Enemy of Justice, and I always thought that that didn't make sense. Although, maybe that was Shining Enforcer that I'm mixing up. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Shining Flame Wingman was a booster set, or was the cover card of a booster set. But, yeah, you don't usually see that every single day. And uh, <laughs> he uses that to actually win the duel. If I'm not mistaken, this is the card that, um, this is definitely the card that uh, Aster used to, to defeat Zane in their uh, televised duel. He ended up using it to um, <laughs> to wreck a Cyber and Dragon, if I'm not mistaken. Second duel is going to be against Fire Fist. Now, the Fire Fist guy, I think, was drunk because once again, he just goes Stratos Pass and he just searches Honest Neil. This guy is, he is redefining the meta, guys. He's like, look, you don't need hand traps. You don't need to spam with Gumblar. You just go, you go, you go Stratos Pass and you just win the duel. Seriously. He has done Stratos Pass and back-to-back -back duels. Now, I thought that this guy should have figured out some type of way to get more monsters on the board and don't get me wrong i'm a big fan of like i am a really big fan of going for um you know dragon but i don't know i feel like you gotta go for your link monster early with fire fist that's the entire point man bounce your cards get buffalo in the graveyard otherwise this is gonna happen and the first guy actually had an answer to i sold the second die second guy does not again i sold not used for link spamming uh spamming actually used for fusion summoning and we see two big fusion monsters oh, man it's been a long time since i've seen great tornado i can't 
remember the last time I actually summoned this card, but it does actually cut your opponent's monsters down. I believe, doesn't it cut their monsters down to half? Let me read you a great, a great Tornado. It's been a long time. Uh, have uh, the attack and defense of all face up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Great Tornado cuts your opponent's monsters in half, and he's able to get it on the field by using Stratos. See, the reason that I forgot about Great Tornado is because it's been, the no one ran this card anymore because after Stratos got banned, there was no win attribute hero monster to use. So, you know, people were like, all right, well, can't use Great Tornado anymore. But now that Stratos is back, you can use the card again. Sorry, dude, that 10 cent is not going to save you because you only got one monster on the board and he still has this guy at 3,000 attack. I think that this card is generally not going to come out at 3,000 attack if you don't use like the regular Neos. But in these duels, he was able to crank this baby out a couple of times and, you know, he was able to have some really good results. So these are just some nice little simple duels that show you that Stratos Pass in 2019, guys, it is 100% the meta. These duels confirmed it. No kappa. We'll, we'll actually put a kappa at the end of that. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed these short duels. If you did, um, <laughs> give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. I hope you guys enjoy the holiday and have a very safe and happy and nice time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out these other videos I know you'll enjoy. And turn on those notifications for daily videos.